Welcome to EasyLux. In this product video, we will show you how to install the emergency lights with the item numbers shown on screen now. These single battery emergency lights signpost and illuminate escape routes in the event of a power failure. The emergency lights offer a variety of detection ranges. Emergency lights for wall and ceiling mounting are available. Use the planning guide to determine the ideal mounting location. Useful accessories such as wall brackets, pendulum sets, basket guards, symbol sets and remote controls are available as part of our range. We will now show you how to install these devices. Please follow the safety instructions. The emergency lights vary slightly depending on the version. We will now show you the differences between wall and ceiling mounting. Adjust the installation set depending on how it will be connected. Insert the cable and screw in the installation set tightly. The operating voltage is 230 volts. The phase and neutral conductor are always connected. In addition, a switch for remote shutdown can be connected via terminals F positive and F negative. A remote control can be configured via terminals S1 and S2. If a fault occurs with the light or no mains voltage is supplied, contact is broken. Here are the steps for ceiling mounting again. You can set the operating mode on the top of the light fixture. This setting applies only when the mains voltage is available. You can select between standby mode, continuous symbol illumination mode, and continuous symbol and pathway lighting mode. Now you can insert the light fixture into the installation set. Pay attention to the cable routing. Now lock the light fixture into place using the two sliders. Here are the steps for ceiling mounting again. Next, write the installation date on the battery. Place it into the electronic cover. Connect it to the device. And snap it into place. Proceed as follows for ceiling mounting. Remove the protective film from the symbol holder and insert the chosen symbol. Then simply snap the light cover into place. Two symbol holders are used when mounting on the ceiling. Once attached, you can switch the mains voltage back on. The battery is now charged. After 20 hours, an automatic test is performed. After another four hours, an operation durability test is carried out. These tests are repeated regularly. The status of the emergency light can be read at the bottom via the LEDs. The meanings of the LED code can be found in the LED key. The LED key is enclosed in multiple languages in the form of stickers. You can cancel tests and set the emergency operating mode using the button underneath the light. You can only select between symbol illumination mode and symbol and pathway lighting mode. Warning, the duration of the emergency operating mode will vary. In the second field on the manufacturer's label, a zero should be entered for standby mode 
or a 1 for continuous mode. In field 4, 180 should be entered for 3 hour emergency mode or 480 for 8 hour emergency mode. I hope you found the video useful. Feel free to also watch our other videos. Until next time.